Hello, welcome back to our teacup commentary. Um, today we're gonna do Marvin Lackhand. Now, um, this guy has been requested for a long time. He's been requested for a very long time. Now, um, I know what his entire thing is. Right, is he walks into the house, you know, naked essentially, and um, he requests to have a, you know, have a meeting with the the decoys cat. Right. Yes, you heard me right. But yeah, we're gonna look at this. Um, there isn't really much to say other than you know, if you like TCAP, right? Check out the channel. Um, I have a lot of these videos, and uh, let's just continue, I guess. <laughs> a perverted justice decoy is playing the part of a 14-year-old named Cindy. She's Cindy. talking to this man, Marvin Lackhan, screen name Crazy Trini 85. They met huh? in an online chat room. Cindy tells him she's a virgin, and he sends her a picture of his genitals. Okay. Crazy Trini 85 asks her if she'll try anal sex and adds, it's better than regular sex. Reg then sex. he asks her if she has a jacuzzi. I'm a <laughs> you in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? First of all, the LOL is crazy, right? Right there. I'm a blank you in there. LOL, right? Banger, man. On your mom's bed? Asks her oh, if God. she has a jacuzzi. I'm a you in there. And on your mom's bed? Why not my bed? That too. Oh my god. I'm a oh, you know, in every room, so no matter where you go, you will remember me. Next, he asks her if she has. Okay, why? Why is this one weird? You know, usually these things are more organized, and it just seems like they were just so rushed. You know, I mean, they were like, oh, but narrator guy, before you leave the studio, right? We just need you to record one more thing, right? He was like on his way out. He's like in the elevator, and they're like, hey, just. Just, I don't know, speak it to this phone right now. You know? <clears throat> and on your mom's bed? Why not my bed? Why not my that bed? <laughs> I'm Ew. a in every room, so no matter where you go, you will remember. I'm a blank, you man. Next, he asks so her good. if she has any pets. Cindy says she has a male cat. And you won't believe what crazy Trini85 <laughs> asks next. You know what would be a huge turn on for me? What? He wants to watch her perform a sex act on a cat. He says oh people do it all the time. They discuss Bro. it further on the phone, where he tells her they'll need Cool Whip. The decoy says she'll try Nasty. it if he's willing to strip off all his clothes and walk into her house naked. That's him right there. He's pulling in the driveway. As we told you... Fucking fragment. There he is. He's pulling up into the driveway. I think this is the first time I've seen... Actually, no. What, I'm, what am I saying? This camera angle has never been shown off like this, like, at this time of day. It looks weird. But... You, okay, you got to give it up to to this uh, Pura Justice uh, employee, right? Um, she did great. I know she did a lot of the phone calls, or at least from I, I've seen her do some of the phone calls, at least. But um, this poor cat, man. The decoy says she'll try it if poor he's kitty. willing to strip off all his clothes and walk into her house naked. How? That's him right there. He's pulling in the driveway. As we told you before, according to law enforcement, <clears throat> Del Harvey, the suspect to bring or do something specific. <laughs> I almost choked on some Powerade. I don't have Gatorade today or Coca Cola. Right? I don't have that today. But um, I will say, <clears throat> what the hell happened to my voice there? I will say, right, that the whole okay. Because I had something to say. What, what was I going to say? Right oh, the whole naked part. So. I think I've been told that, like, them doing that type of stuff was, like, very out there. You know what I mean? I think that most of these guys that did, that did do this, like, the whole stripping down thing, like, got off scot-free. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure. I think Marvin, like, didn't get any charges to him because of what they made him do, right? It was, like, very weird. Why would you do this? Right? Pull it in the driveway. As we told you before, according to law enforcement, asking a suspect to bring or do something specific demonstrates intent. There's like a green thing over the back door. The green decoy thing over keeps the back talking door. to him as he walks up the driveway. Drive. I'm gonna find my cat quick, okay? Just strip in there and I'll be out with Find the my cat. Alright? He's coming around. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Whatever you want. I guess totally naked because that was the deal, right? I mean, t okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could see how, like, a judge would be like, you know, maybe this is a little excessive, right? And it is, let's be honest. You know, as fun as it is seeing these guys, I mean, not like that, but, like, it's as fun as it is to see them, like, be embarrassed, right? Um, It's probably not the best thing to do when it comes to a police investigation, right, to have them stripped down. I don't think that's... This is a man who apparently rah. sticks to a deal. Deal. Walks in the back door 
takes off all his clothes in the laundry room. That's brave. Goes in search of the decoy. Where are you? <clears throat> Where are you? Why just take a seat? Where are you? What's his name? Uh, I keep forgetting his name, but it's such a good one. Uh, Alonzo Wade. Oh my God, man. Where are you? It's so. Uh, you know, I actually say that a lot. No, I really think about it. I'm always like, where are you? It's so he's so good, man. Takes off all no, his no, what I'm in the either. laundry room and goes in search of the decoy. It's like a little secret. Where are you? Why just take a seat? Where, where are you? I made that because I'm going to the pool. It was kind of a little surprise. It's insane. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, I know Chris is about to pop out, right? But it's very impressive how he legit, you know, he's a fast mover, right? And maybe Chris even says that, but. I, I thought he sat down. I am I know there's a you know there's a scene of him sitting down. Um but man, he he beelined it, right? He beelined it straight for the for the girl. But he kept that necklace on though, you know. The necklace stays on. You wanna explain yourself? Oh grab me that towel right there. Grab me that towel. That's so good, man. You wanna towel. explain yourself? Grab me that towel right there, please. Towel. Wrap it around yourself. Bro, how is he not more urgent to wrap his ween, bro? Like, bro, please. I can't stand this. Right? Look at that towel right there. Towel. Uh, sorry, I keep bringing it up. But look at the height difference, man. It's so good. You know, he's literally a, a head shorter than Chris, right? Please. Wrap it around <clears throat> yourself. Wrap it around. And please sit in that stool. Sit in that stool. What are you doing? Making a mistake. Making a mistake. <laughs> Crazy. Is going on what is mind. going on in your mind? I do not know. <laughs> you don't know. Crazy, no defense, man. Like, I mean, what what could you really think above right now? Be like, uh, she told me she was 18, right? That's like, honestly, the best thing you could probably say here that I guess kind of makes sense. But at the same time, like, you know, that's not the truth. You know, you'd be lying. But still, though, I, I don't know. I don't know. Now, what do you think would have happened, Marvin? If I was Had me. I not been here and had there actually been a 14-year-old girl in that next room? Next room. What would have happened after you walked in there naked? Something probably would have happened. Something I, like, I would have blanked her blanks. What? Something along sexual lines. Like you would have had sex with a 14-year-old girl? I'm not sure if I would have done that, but... What? Marvin, you're naked. I wouldn't have gone all the way. I yeah, I would have just gone like halfway, Chris. Like, understand what I'm saying. What? What is... Okay. What is the position here, right? Pause. Like, is he trying to say that, like, you know, oh, we I would, we were just done oral, right? Or some uh, Bob Beaver, right? Like, I don't get it. Regardless of what you were going to do in there, right? But then, okay, then he says something along the lines of, like, sexual things, right? Um, I, what? Like, like, I've what? All, all, all of that is crossing the line regardless, you know what I mean? Lines. Like, you would have had sex with a 14-year-old girl. I'm not sure if I would have done that, but... Marvin, you're naked. Yeah, you're naked. All, all the way. I wasn't going. You, were, you went all the way when you took your clothes off, just about. He's then right. Ask him about the plans he talked about He's wrong. online for the cat. You know what would be a huge <laughs> Mr. turn Whiskers. on me? What? Watching you blank him. Meaning like <laughs> blank him. Banger, man. Oh, man. You know, we know what would be such a turn on for me. Uh prefer just as decoy right if you blank the cat oh my lord cat. what he says i don't think i want to blank the cat <laughs> would you for me you would make this 14 year old girl blank the cat. A sex act on a cat you were gonna make her blank the cat was that your plan it really wasn't well, why did you say it then i was i was i was just messing around with it i was just really messing serious. around i really was messing around like you gave her instructions about using Cool Whip. That's crazy. Very specific instructions. Yeah. I mean, I can only imagine. Imagine. What would have been going on in this house. On. Had I not been here. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. That poor cat would have probably been the biggest victim here. Let's be honest. <laughs> I'm kidding. But still, like, that cat, man. I just can't stop. stop I cannot stop thinking about the cat, right? Poor cat. You know what I mean? But man, th th man, this is nasty. Like, I need, I don't think I need to mention this, but like, I have to mention this just for my own sake. This is nasty as hell. You know, Hang like, I just cannot believe it. But um, I can. Very specific instructions. I mean, I can only imagine. Imagine. 
what would have been going on in this house. House. Had I not been here. Am I wrong to think that? Bro, it's impressive how little he has shown emotion, like, at all. Um, I mean, this, like... I don't know, like, I guess I'm always picturing people like Vincent Ambrosio and, like, people like Dan Allen. I Well, I'm picturing him recently because I was actually going to do him. Uh, um, oh, we'll pause. Over this guy. But then I'm like, you know, I am I was thinking, I was like, there's somebody else that people really wanted me to look at. And I remember it was Marvin. So, yeah. <clears throat> Help me out. Am I wrong to think that? No, you're not. So what's going to be happening if I'm not here? You're naked. There's a 14-year-old girl. And a cat. Chasing a cat around. Oh, my You've God. You've got a cool whip. And you want this girl to do some sex act with the cat, and then you'll have sex the with her. The poor cat. The poor... Is that... Accurate? Accurate. Yes. Then... It's impressive how little these people are scared, because, like, I... Okay, you got to admit, right? I don't want to be that guy, right? I don't want to be that guy, but... Chris Hansen is not intimidating enough to think that he would beat your ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like, let's let's see, let's imagine somebody else, right? Um, a, a, like an actual father, father, like her father, came out storming, being like, "What the blank, the blankety blank, are you doing in my house?" Right? It would have, I think, been a different uh, picture. I mean, of course, but you know what I mean, Chris Hansen. He wants to be professional, and you can see that he's not going to beat you up. So it almost seems like these guys are just kind of, like, sitting there, like, bored, it looks even, um, to what Chris is saying. Like, I would have liked to see what... I mean, the thing is, is that we have seen things like this, like, like this, where, you know, they bring out, like, a very buff dude and, like, scare these uh, preds. Um, in some form of like YouTube video, they've done it before, and you can see how different it is. You know, what I mean, they're a lot more scared in, in this thing. In in the Chris Hansen stings, other than the fact that they know they're gonna get arrested, like for a fact, and knowing Chris Hansen, they w weren't really afraid of him, at, like at all, really. And crazy Trini eighty five asks for some water. Some water. That's crazy. I saw that running around naked got you pretty uh, dried out there. Huh? <laughs> They're like, um, guys, where's the water? <laughs> he went to the kitchen, man. Oh, my God. What a nice guy, Chris. Have you ever met any young... Can I have some... Whoa, wait a minute. I, like... Let me process this. He legit is that comfortable to be like, um, can I have some water? Bro, oh, my God. Like, this is literally a, a nudge to what I was just saying. Like, imagine you just get caught by this girl's parents, and he's threatening to beat your head in and stuff, and you're like, um, I understand this is a bad thing, but can I have some water? Like, oh. Online. First time. Yeah, first time. First time, which will never happen again, I can tell you that. Oh, uh, this is funny, man. The man starts laughing. Starts laughing. So it's funny. No, this is, I'm just thinking it to myself that this will never happen again. Ah, ha, 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 real funny, man. This is not something, though. It's not right. So you're promising me it's right not now wrong. that you'll never... I'm promising myself that I'm not... Hook up with a fortune. <laughs> well, no, this reminds me of Alan Cherney, where he's like, I would never do this, ever. And then the detective's like, and why should we believe you? Because I know me. Like, bro, I don't care that you're promising yourself, right? You're still here. Right. So you're that promising me right now that you'll never... I'm promising myself... That I'm not Hook up with a 14 year old girl online. Poor guy. To have sex with a cat and walk into her house naked. Not not even under 19. <laughs> I'm Upstanding citizen, man. Oh my god, man. What a pegger. Not even under 19, man. Oh. What a response. Like. <laughs> not not even under 19. Not even under 19, man. I'm just. It's, no. I'm promising that to myself, not even to you, just to. To you, Chris. It's not, Good. It's not now wrong. he's about to find out that he just made that promise on national television. <laughs> well, there's something else you need to know. You're on TV now. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story <laughs> on adults who try to meet. Smile teens for the online. camera. Let's see. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say about this predicament you're now in, we'd love to hear it. Just trust me, it'll never happen again. 
And if there's nothing else you have to say, that's so like unsus like almost like unsustained, like so little, right? You you just got caught on national TV. You're like, oh, it won't happen again. Trust me. Like, uh, I I don't know. I don't know what I expect these guys to say, Trust but me. at the same time, like I just can't look over the fact that they are not really that stressed out. You know, we see a lot of takedown, and most of the guys that are on there like very distressed. Like extremely distressed, but that's because they know the they they might they might recognize Chris, or they might know it's a sting operation because you know the, after after T Cap like these kind of became more known to the public. I mean, of course, but it was a more common thing to see all oh, police stings and stuff. So um, I can imagine how a predator nowadays would be really scared and would kind of catch on to what's happening. And not really have people like this anymore. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, even back to Hanson versus Predator, right? Even some of those guys were were still arrogant over the fact that they were getting taped for um, TV. You know what I mean? It'll never like happen. Like Jeff Sokol and stuff. Again. And if there's nothing else you have to say, then you're free to walk out that door where you stripped naked and walked in. Walked in. You can keep the towel. <laughs> I'll just leave them in the laundry room. That's fine. <laughs> He's like, okay, Once I don't want your towel. he gets his clothes back on, he walks uh-huh. outside and is arrested by that camouflaged officer. Police on the ground! <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. Okay, hold on, man. Okay, I'll, I finally found him, man. I finally found this, this m- mystical camouflaged officer, right? Because... I know of the clip, right? Who doesn't? Who doesn't know about the clip? But it was here. Side and is arrested Police by get that down. camouflaged officer. Police on the ground! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I just can't. Okay, I just don't understand what the plan was there, right? Like, was he supposed, supposed to, was he supposed to, like, just completely, like, lose all functions in, in his arms and just drop, like, you know, like, like a sack of potatoes, right? They had it under control, man. Why the why did why does it need a camouflaged officer? I don't get it. Is he somewhere here? I mean, of course he is. Back on, he walks outside and is arrested. I don't think we saw him ever again. Police on the ground! That was incredibly anticlimactic, man. It is kind of sad to think. Police on the ground! Oh, look. What was that? He's taken to the transfer station and searched. Searched. Where do you live at? In for Iowa. Iowa. What? I don't know where that is. Anyway, um, I do have his uh, his TCAP wiki, man. Here it is. All right, now we're gonna check out the TCAP wiki, right? Um. I realize that this video is a little short, so we're going to look through his wiki, right? Um, I don't know if this is a more modern picture of him. I mean, it's 2009 or so. It's not that modern, <laughs> I would I would say, right? But anyway, so of course his name is Marvin Lackhan. Uh, Marvin, you're naked, is what Chris said. Ang- Chris's angry response to Lackhan's ex- excuses. Sorry. Marvin Lackhand is a suspected predator in the Fort Myers, Florida investigation. He's notable for walking into the house completely naked and telling the decoy to have blank with a cat, right? Marvin Lackhand, who was 22, 22 years old at the time and studying to be a pediatrician, was caught by a pervert justice member called Duncan Hines, who was posing as a 14-year-old girl named Cindy. Lackhand lied about his age, claiming to be a 20-year-old. Um, after only a few minutes of chatting... Lacan solicited Heinz to send sexually explicit images of herself, which is crazy, by the way. In in minutes, in a few minutes of chatting, uh, he then asked if she was a virgin and, and if her blank was tight. Lacan offered to take her virginity and claimed to be above average size. He then said the decoy could perform oral blank on him and revealed that he wouldn't bring condoms, insisting that they have, uh, that they have sex uh, raw. Incredibly, Lackham then asked Hines if she swallowed uh, <laughs> juices anyway and promised he wouldn't get her pregnant because he was studying in medical school. He then proceeds to discuss anal blank, suggesting that it would hurt for a few minutes but then become more pleasurable. Um, Lackham, de- um, Lackham even asked the decoy for gas money when he arrived and requested that she invite one of her friends over for a threesome. 
which is crazy. They, this is something that they don't even mention in the actual, like, sting operation, like, in the actual segment. So, like, Jesus. Anyway, he claimed that he would have blank with her uh, in her jacuzzi and in every room of, of her house so that she would remember him. Um, the conversation took an even more disturbing turn when Lycan expressed a desire for Heinz to have a uh, blank with her male cat, saying that it would be a huge turn on for him. He demanded that she perform oral sex on the cat and even requested to call Heinz after saying that. The situation escalated further when Heinz asked another member of the Pura Justice named Boots to call Lycan. I assume Boots is that, like, that blondish girl that was, like, on the phone. On the phone, Lycan repeated, uh, repeatedly, re- uh, <clears throat> Sorry, Lightcam repeated his request on Boots and wanted to see her perform sexual acts on her male cat. Boots messaged Hines and informed her uh, informed her of Lightcam's request. Hines instructed Boots to tell Lightcam to come into the house naked. Initially, Lightcam refused to do so, but when Boots said she would not have sex with the cat, he pranced into the basement and began to undress while still on the phone with Boots, uh, shocking everyone in the house. Also, Boots is a very... <laughs> Ironic name <laughs> for what he's requesting, right? Um, at this point, police and Dayline NBC were present, but Boots had to frantically wave um, at them to be quiet and not intervene as Lackhand stripped. Confrontation. As Lackhand, uh, Lackhand's naked entrance into the living room, an 18-year-old actress posing as a teenage girl spoke to Lackhand from another room and asked him and asked him to wait. So I assume that's Emily. Lackhand quickly followed the sound of her voice, only to find Chris Hansen confronting him. Hansen ordered Lackhand to cover himself with a towel and sit down. Hansen asked Lackhand what he was doing, to which Lackhand replied that he ma- he had made a stupid mistake and didn't know what was going on in his mind. After Hansen questioned what else he would have done if a real child was home alone, Lackhand admitted that something along the sexual lines would have happened, but claimed he wouldn't have gone all the way. Hansen pointed out that he had already gone all the way by arriving naked. When Hansen mentioned the cat, Lackhand again claimed that he was just being stupid and not serious about it. Lackhand avoided answering his question and then requested water from Hansen. Hansen obligated with his request and while handing him a bottle of water, sarcastically asked if he was run- asked if running around naked made him thirsty. I'm kind of thirsty right now. When Hansen questioned if he had ever met a child online, Lacan laughed and claimed it was his first time meeting a minor online, and it would never, and it would be his, his last, the last. <coughs> uh, let's see. He also said that he wouldn't talk to anyone under 19 from then on. Hansen then revealed his identity, prompting the cameras to come out. Lacan repeated that he wouldn't do it again and put his clothes back on. As he left the house, a police officer in a ghillie suit tackled him to the ground and handcuffed him, which the ghillie suit guy was crazy for that. Anyway, after the investigation, after his arrest, Lackhand was charged with a felony count of attempt to loot and lascivious battery with a victim um, 12 to 15 years old. On April 25th, 2008, Lackhand was allegedly, uh, was allegedly, Lackhand was uh, eligible for the Florida's Youthful Offenders Act, which offers leniency to young offenders with no prior criminal history. As a result, he accepted a plea bargain and pleaded guilty to a felony charge he faced. Um, on May 2nd, 2008, Lycan received a suspended prison sentence of five years. He was also placed on sex offender probation and was required to register as, as a sex offender for the rest of his life. In 2012, Lycan was deported to his home country of Trinidad. Sometime in 2020, Lycan got married. <laughs> what? How? How did he know this? What the hell? Anyway... Wow, he got deported in 2012, which, I mean, is, is best for the people here, but, like, oh, he's not any more of a... Well, he's married now, but still, I would like to think he's not necessarily a good guy, right? But Marvin is sometimes referred as the Indian guy. Technically, he is, although he's actually from Trinidad, a Caribbean island which has a population of any descent that isn't well known by most Americans. He is the second predator to show up and get naked, the first being John Connelly. Oh, banger, man. John Connelly was the greatest. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But um, I guess oh, he's right here. <laughs> he's actually right here. That's funny. Anyway, let's go back, right? Um, Well, that, I guess that's it for this video, right? We'll wrap it up just like he did with the towel, right? Anyway, yeah, we'll leave it here. Um, thank you for watching. Um, this was a good watch. You know, a highlight to me was definitely the uh, ghillie suit. I always wondered whose segment that was, but I now know it was Marvin Lackhand, right? But um, yeah, to be the second guy to get uh, you know naked um, here in a sting is kind of crazy. Um, I 
would have thought there would have been more. Luckily, there hasn't been. Even though I think there was. I'm not sure. But, you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it here. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good uh, day. Um, and uh, good night, I guess. I don't know. <laughs>